Hello, this is RJ. Yeah, RJ, what's up? Hey, is this uh, John? Yeah. John, I was calling about the property that you entered on my website there on New Grove Street. Are you still looking to sell that property? Yeah, I'm still looking to sell it. Awesome. Uh, well, first thing, how much are you looking to get for it? As much as I can, obviously. <laughs> All right. What's that magic number? Okay. Um, can you actually give me the the like when you entered it on my website, you just put New Grove Street. You didn't give me the the number. What's the the numbers to it? Twenty seven nineteen East East New Grove. It's on the east side. Okay. All right. Tell me a little bit about what's going on with the property. Nothing. The property is fine. I'm getting old. I mean, I'm 66 years old. I got a, a cow valve in my heart, and it's like, I can't keep up with the place. You know what I mean? Right. Everything that works. Pool I got in the back. You can swim in it. It's blue, everything else. But it's like, it, it's a matter of time before it gets to, in front of me, and I won't be able to keep it, keep going. You know, I've, I'm already falling behind in the cleaning and stuff because I, I get tired out real quick. And but my days are numbered, so I figure I'm going to, Pull it out and this is about downside. All right. Uh, what's the condition like on the inside? The inside's great. Like I said, it's just dirty. You know, um, I got so many upgrades in the house. It's not even funny. Um, I got French doors instead of sliding glass doors. Um, I got brand new windows throughout. They're, they're, they're double pane. They're soundproof. They're insulated. Um, got a new roof. New air conditioning and heating. Um, I got a whole house fan. Um, got uh, cement work I've already done. The electrical work I've already done. I'm, I'm not only talking inside, I'm talking outside. When I bought the property, the guy, he had the pool and he had a, a plug going to an extension <coughs> cord wrapped around the damn pool and plugged it to, into the patio. It's like, oh yeah. It'd be great to get rid of my wife, you know. If I had to go in the pool and climb over that extension cord, <laughs> <laughs> bitch never did it, damn it. You know, she ended up divorcing me instead. So oh, I should have rigged that out better, but I didn't. <laughs> but yeah, no, so I did all the electrical work. I got, you can imagine, I got lights in the back, I got light, uh, the plugs in the front, so you don't have to use like power mowers or whatever you use, you know. You, electrical weed whackers and stuff like that so right if you have a motor home boom you know i, I did the cement work also in the front i widened everything i mean i'll get everything you could want to go up oh, i got misters under the patio uh shit there's so much i mean i'm, I'm looking it's funny i got old so quick i didn't get to finish what i needed to do what i wanted to do more to the house can't believe like you know i was 30 and then I turn around and I'm 66 with a cow valve in me. You know what I mean? So, like all of a sudden I got old quick. I guess, you know, it just happens. Right. I'm working for much. And, yeah, so, yeah, so I just need to downsize. No matter the house, like I said, other than it being dirty, because, like, I mean, I got to the point where the neighbors came and had a bang on the door because they hadn't seen me in a while. I'm always doing stuff in the house and they were worried about me. I go, you know, and they ended up kicking down the door because I couldn't even get to the front door. They're banging on us so loud and they were worried. They were kicking down the door. I replaced the door. Oh, jeez. They had to go, we thought you died in here. I go, why? Does it smell outside? I said, when I'm dead, it'll stick in the house and you'll smell it outside. If you ain't smelling it, don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm alive, motherfuckers. Oh, <laughs> man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but they were worried. You know, got, got good neighbors, so... Yeah, so I know it's, it's time to leave now. Yeah, um, all right, 460, 465, yeah. that's what you yeah, want. That's what I'm looking for, yep. And um, that's, a, that's a hard number for me to swallow. All right, well, you we try again, right? Yeah, I think um, 
I think you could – well, I mean, if that if it's dirty, I think you're going to have to come down a little bit. But, I mean, I think you could get pretty close to that if you were on the – you know, if you hired a realtor and went that way. Um, but, I mean, if you're looking for a quick sell with an investor, I mean, it, it's going to be need to be lower than that for sure. By all I mean, I, I think you're pretty much you're you're pushing like the top of the market right there because your square footage is 1440, right? Correct. You think that model sold not more than 1386 square foot house that sold for 380, a 1405 that sold for 413, a 1390 that sold for 350. I mean, you got a 2900 square foot that sold for 470. I mean, you're talking about twice the house that sold for the price that you're asking. You've got. You said there was one there for 1370 sold for four. What now? There's another one there. 1386 sold for 380. And thirteen ninety sold for three fifty. Mm-hmm. I mean, you've got active on the market. You got one at fourteen ninety two, built in nineteen ninety. It's been on the market for thirty days. It's listed for four sixty. It looks like somebody tried to flip it, and it looks like shit. Um, you got. One on the market on Leslie Court for four forty nine at thirteen thirty five. You got one on the market on New Grove Street, twenty eight twenty nine, fourteen forty square feet for three eighty nine. So that's that's your street for three ninety. So I mean, yeah, yeah, it doesn't look as good as mine. I want to know what that one is. Yeah, but I mean that's seventy five thousand dollars. You know, I mean. Well, there's a, there's one listed for four thirty. It's been on the market for thirty days. No one's bought it. Looks like someone tried to flip it. Looks like looks like shit. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I would say if you really want to get that number, I mean, you're probably going to need to hire a realtor and have them listed on the MLS for you. Yeah, all right. Well, thank you very much, and we tried. Yep, all right, man. Talk to you soon. I mean, he was entertaining. He gave us that. Good old California. Always good for nothing but entertainment. 